Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we're going to take a look at these Beats EP headphones and uh, the cable. We're going to swap it out with a, another cable. That's the microphone I just pointed at, and this is the inline volume control. And this cable has a broken tip as you can see here it's cracked open and this is broken off and this one is hardwired uh, directly to the headphones so th there's actually a lot of these broken tips uh, I see out there and we're going to use this cable here to replace it with and it has the microphone here and the inline volume control as well so this cable is slightly different than the other one uh, it's rounded and the other one is flat uh, I think it's a little bit more durable but besides that it's also got a couple of extra wires that we're not going to be using and we'll have to make a slight modification to the interior so the cup um, is stuck down pretty good. Um, I'd already taken the cup off and stuck it back on. That, that adhesive is not very good. Once you take it off, you might need to replace it. And it has four screws that hold that speaker cap and the little speaker itself in. And uh, you might have to get your fingernail or something and kind of pry those out. And then the speaker pops off. Get our other two screws that stayed in there. All right. So then we're going to take a uh, closer look at the wiring that we have here. It's going to be important to pay attention to this. So we have these four wires here, two copper-looking ones, a green and a red one. They're attached to our cable running out through the bottom of the uh, earpiece. And then we have uh, the green, red, a couple of copper looking ones. And those are going to be soldered here. We have a green one, a red one, and a copper and a copper. So there's a couple of grounds. There's one more ground, and one more red, and those two are going to stay attached. And those go back into the headset. So we're going to leave those where they are, and we're going to desolder the other four cables, the other four wires. So we're going to try and get an up-close look here. Not necessarily under a microscope, but we'll try to make it good enough to where you can see it, see what's going on. So first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and desolder the cables or the wires from the cable that we're going to remove from the headset and there's four of them again a red green and two copper looking ones for ground and once those have been desoldered you still can't quite pull so you can see these other two are still attached to the speaker and go into the headset. We're going to leave those just as they are. There's a red one and a copper for ground on that one. And we still can't take the, the uh, cable out yet, just yet. But you can see it's laid down in behind that uh, standoff for the screw. And I'm um, surprised they don't put a bunch of glue in there because they usually do. We're going to push this out. From the outside, we're going to push it inward, and now we're just going to cut this end off right about there and slide it through this hole. So, a lot of the beats headphones you know have wires that are just glued in and there is a lot of glue that they use and that can be really annoying but in this case well, surprisingly there wasn't any glue to deal with but that's okay we're going to fix that we're going to be using glue at the end now you can use hot snot 
you can use uh, epoxy, you can use uh, super glue, you can use actually, you know, any anything that you want to secure that cable. But so long as it's secured on the inside, so that when the wire is uh, the cable's pulled on, it doesn't uh, disconnect the wires from their solder joints. Now we're going to take the cable that we're going to replace and just cut it off right here at this tip so we can get the most out of this uh, other end here. We want to get it as long as we can. We're going to take this outside shielding off. and expose the inside wires. Now in here you're going to find five wires. It's going to be a green, a blue, a red, a copper looking one, and a red and copper striped one. All we're concerned about is the green, the red, and the solid copper one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just go ahead and tin all the wires with some solder. Get them prepped and ready to use uh, to solder back onto the speaker. I'm just going to go ahead and tin all of them even though we're only going to be using three out of the five. because I can't really see it that well at this angle so I just figure I'll just do them all that way I'll know they're all all the ones I need will be be done now we've got a little bit of solder on the tips of each one of these wires we'll, they'll be ready to uh, be soldered into place so again there's our little hole right there we're going to slide those through the hole And we're going to leave it loose while we work on it so we can move it around and get the wires positioned where we want. We're going to move those two wires we don't need out of the way, bend them backwards. That's the blue and the striped red and copper one. And we'll just use a basic electrical tape here just to kind of tape them back out of the way so they're not touching anything getting in our way nothing fancy there now we have our red green and and our copper wires and those are the ones there's a copper green and a red those are the three that we're concerned about. And the red one's going to go here. The green one's going to go here. And the copper grounds are going to actually be bridged across those two with this little micro jumper. It's just a small piece of wire that we're going to use to bridge those two connections. So we'll get one side soldered on and then we'll bend it over and push it down into position on the other connector and solder it in, into place. All right, now we've got our jumper there. We're all set and ready to go. That's the one small modification you will need to do for this to work properly. 
So we'll just go ahead and start with the green wire there since it's kind of behind the other two. We'll put this ground wire down here and the red one into position here. Okay. Now we'll take an up close look again so you can kind of see where we are soldered. You can just see that little bridge right there. That one, that one, and this one. Now that we've got them soldered into position where we need, where we want them to be, we've got to um, take a look at the orientation of the speakers. So there's going to be a little notch right here, and there's a uh, corresponding protrusion there, a little thing sticking out so that the speaker can only go in that way. We're going to use a little Loctite super glue here to just tack down this uh, cable where we want it on the inside to keep it stable and to keep it from moving around and mainly just to keep it from jerking loose the solder joints but that's not all we're just going to use this to get it where we want it and I'll try to show up close a little bit better here so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about so basically we want to just kind of glue it down right there so that it's not able to be, so it's not able to pull on the solder joints when the wires, when the cables are moved. If the cable's pulled on or anything like that, we don't want it yanking on the uh, solder joints, so it will yank on the area where it's been glued down instead. Now you can use again hot snot, but this is I don't have one, I don't have a hot glue gun, so I'm just gonna use this crud over here in this tube, which is a lot like hot snot. And that's what we're gonna use uh around the hole where the wire goes in to kind of seal that area all around that hole and to kind of help hold that cable in. Once it dries and cures, it also is, is like a glue, helps hold that cable in place and seals the hole up. And it's a little bit flexible, uh, so it's not real rigid when it dries. And now that we've got all that in there, we can go ahead and put the speaker back on. Remember to line up that notch. And you'll have it right where you need it to be. And we'll put our four screws back. So this is uh, the opening where the little hot snot glue, whatever that is, is going to seal up around that as it dries. And uh, you can see that the inline volume control is uh, approximately where it was originally to begin with. Now there's a couple of little posts, one there and one here, that stick out if they hadn't been broken off. And they go down inside these little holes on the, uh, ear, the ear cup. So you're going to make sure to line those holes up when you put the ear cup back on. And again, if the adhesive isn't holding for you, we can you can always replace that. Now we're going to run through uh, a quick test. Uh,
So we're showing the volume and uh, sound and everything are working. Pause button and volume up and down are working. We're going to show that the microphone is working now. Hi, this is a test recording and we have microphone. Yay! So anyway, I uh, hope this was useful for someone out there. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you uh, like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff, it really helps me out. So I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.